soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green and none but fools do wear it, cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love, oh, that she knew she were. She speaks yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold, tis not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business, do entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, they in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars, as daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See, how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night. Being o'er my head as is a winged messenger of heaven unto the white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy puffing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a mourn took you. What's mourn took you? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo Paulid. Retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doth thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee take all myself. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be a Romeo. Oh, my God! What man art thou that thus best screened in night so stumblest on my counsel? By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance. Yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a mourn took you? Neither, fair saint, if he were thee dislike. How camest thou hither, tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I overperch these walls. For stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do, that dares love attempt. Therefore my kinsmen are no stop to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have knights clawed to hide me from their sight. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued, wanting of thy love. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush be paint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny what I have spoke, but farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word, yet if thou swearest, thou mayst prove false. At lovers' bitter is they say, Jove laughs. 
O gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou t-h-i-n-k-s-t-i-n-t -i -i -n too quickly one, I'll frown and be perverse, and say thee nay, so thou wilt woo. But else, not for the world. In truth, fair mourned of you, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayst think my behavior light, but trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more coying to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess, but that thou o v e r h e a r d s t there I was where, my true love's passion. Therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love, which the dark night has so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear that it's worth silver all these fruit tree tops. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or, if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Well, do not swear. Although I join thee, I have no joy with this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning, which door cease to be ere one can say it lightens. Sweet, good night. This bud of love, by summer's ripening breath, may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night, good night, as sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank, and give it thee again. And yet I wish but for the thing I have, my bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love is deep, the more I give to thee. The more I have, for both are infinite. Juliet. I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu, anon, good nurse, sweet mourned of you, be true, stay but a little, I will come again. Sleep well upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep in peace, so sweet a rest. Hence will I to my ghostly sire's close cell, his help to crave and my dear have to tell.